We are on the Wednesday of the 27th week in Ordinary Time. The Church also celebrates today the Memorial of St. Bruno. Today, we will also install the Second Year College and Associate Seminarians who will receive the Ministry of Lectorate. Our Mass Presider today is Rev. Father Sherwin Tristan Aromin SVD, Head Prefect of Christ the King Mission Seminary. Our Eucharistic celebration will now begin. Please rise. We are gathered together to praise and thank the Lord in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. A blessed evening to all of you, my dear brothers and sisters, especially those who are joining us in our live streaming here in the Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word. Join us this evening in our seminary community as we commission and installed here in our shrine our second year and associate brother seminarians as lectors. They will receive this special ministry of sharing the word of God here in our shrine, proclaimers of the good news of Jesus. We pray that they may be truly instrument of God's word sharers and bearers of God's word in their daily life. Let us now pause for a moment as we prepare ourselves for in celebrating these sacred mysteries and we ask for God's mercy and pardon for all our shortcomings. Together we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sin in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for, for me to the, to the Lord, Lord our, our God. God. May Almighty God of mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpass the merits and the desires of those who entreat you, 
pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what conscience dreads and to give what prayer does not dare to us to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jonah. Jonah was greatly displeased and became angry that God did not carry out the evil he threatened against Nineveh. He prayed, I beseech you, Lord, is not this what I said while I was in my own country? This is why I fled at first to Tarshish. I knew that you are a gracious and merciful God, is low to anger, rich in clemency, loath to punish. And now, Lord, please take my life from me, for it is better for me to die than to live. But the Lord asked, Have you reason to be angry? Jonah then left the city for a place to the east of it, where he built himself a hut and waited under it in the shade to see what would happen to the city. And when the Lord God provided a gourd plant that grew up over Jonah's head, giving shade that relieved him of any discomfort, Jonah was very happy over the plant. But the next morning at dawn, God sent a worm that attacked the plant so that it withered. And when the sun arose, God sent a burning east wind, and the sun beat upon Jonah's head till he became faint. Then Jonah asked for death, saying, I would be better off dead than to live. But God said to Jonah, Have you reason to be angry over the plan? I have reason to be angry. Jonah answered, Angry enough to die. Then the Lord said, You are concerned over the plant which you caused no labor and which you did not raise. It came up in one night and in one night it perished. And should I not be concerned over Nineveh, the great city in which there are more than 120,000 persons, who cannot distinguish their left and their right hand, not to mention the many cattle. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, you are merciful and gracious. Lord, you are merciful and gracious. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for to you I call all the day. Gladden the soul of your servant, for to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. Lord, you are merciful and gracious. For you, O Lord, are good and forgiving, abounding in kindness to call upon you. Hearken, O Lord, to my prayer. Lord, and gracious. All the nations you have made shall come and worship you, O Lord, and glorify your name. For you are great, and you do wondrous deed. You alone are God. Lord, you are merciful and gracious. We rise to honor the Holy Gospel. Thank you. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus was praying in a certain place, and when he had finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us how to pray. As John taught his disciples, he said to them, When you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, for we ourselves forgive everyone in debt to us. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Once again, a blessed evening to all of you, my dear brothers and sisters. A blessed day to those who are joining us in different parts of the world. As I mentioned in my introduction today, also is the commissioning of our seminarians as lectors here in our Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word. I would like to welcome also their family, their parents, their brothers and sisters who are joining us in our live streaming this evening. After my homily, we will witness the commissioning of our seminarians as lectors of our shrine. Sabi nila, sa dami ng ating pinagdadaanan ngayon, mapapakapit ka talaga sa pagdarasal. With all the things that we are all experiencing nowadays, one of our weapons in order to survive one of our consolation in, that gives us strength to continue on in our life is prayer. It's good to reflect this evening, do we still pray? How many times do we pray? Ilang beses kaya tayong magdasal sa isang araw? And what is our usual prayer in this time of pandemic? Ano mga dasal mo kapatid sa panahon ngayon? Kasama ko mga seminarista ngayon. Kung kayo kung tatanungin niyo kami, usually this is always the question, Father or brother, ilang beses kayo magdasal sa seminaryo? Kami dito sa loob ng seminaryo, our daily routine or schedule, we pray at least four to five times a day plus our daily mass. That's why many are asking for our prayers because they know na part ng aming buhay sa loob ng seminaryo ay ang pagdarasal. In one Tagalog movie, I think the title is Tanging Yaman, there's a scene in that movie kung saan yung lola, kasama niya yung kanyang apo, bumisita sa simbahan. And inside the church, they prayed. At habang nagdarasal yung lola, in his innocent, innocence, tinanong ng apo, ang, tinanong ng yung apo yung kanyang lola. Sabi niya sa kanyang lola, Lola, sa dami po nang nagdarasal sa Diyos, naririnig kaya ng Diyos ang lahat ng ating dasal. Sa dami nang nagdarasal sa Diyos, naririnig kaya ng Diyos ang lahat ng ating dasal. For sure, since we, all, we are all affected by this pandemic situation many of us are praying and even some of us are praying harder praying in various intentions prayer for the sick prayer for healing prayer for the dead prayer for reconciliation and forgiveness prayer to have food and work prayer for discernment especially to our politicians nowadays Prayer for harmony, prayer for success in studies, etc. Ikaw kapatid, anong dasal mo? Anong hinihiling mo sa Diyos? At sa tagal ng ating pagdarasal, naririnig kaya ng Diyos ang ating mga dasal. In our gospel today, the disciples asked Jesus, Lord, teach us how to pray. Panginoon, turuan mo kaming magdasal. 
And Jesus taught them a beautiful prayer, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, Ama namin. Yung binasa ko ngayon is the version of St. Luke. A short prayer. But it's a complete prayer. The Lord's Prayer is one of the first prayers na itinuro sa atin ng ating mga magulang nung tayo bata pa. And it's the first prayer that we memorize as Catholics. The common prayer that we are always praying as Catholics. Ang Ama namin, Our Father. And if you try to see, the Lord's Prayer is a very short prayer. A very simple prayer. Kung ihahambing mo compared to our long list of personal prayers and devotions, napakalahabang listahan ng ating mga dasal at request sa Diyos, napakahabang mga litanis ng ating mga petitions, the Lord's Prayer, Our Father, Ama namin, is a very short prayer, a very simple prayer. But even it is short, it is complete and meaningful. It is a very meaningful prayer that speaks about our intimate relationship with God. In the first part of the prayer, we have already the privilege to call God as our Father. Napakapalad natin dahil we can address God directly and say, Ama namin, our Father. It's a dialogue of an intimate conversation of a son or a daughter to his father. Isang malalim na pag-uusap ng isang anak sa kanyang ama. And the child praises the father for his infinite goodness. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And for Jesus, he's not just a father, but he revealed that God is a loving and caring Father to all of His children. Then in the next part of the prayer, a child putting his trust to his father as he asks his father, give us this daily bread. A child who rely on God's providence, not his own capacity. A child who trusts God or trusts his father that He will give what is best for him or her. As Jesus reminds us in Luke chapter 11, verse 11, Sabi ni Jesus, For which of your father, if your son asks for a fish, will give him a snake instead? Or, he, or if he asks for an egg, will he give him a scorpion? If you then, though you are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask Him? My dear brothers and sisters, this is a very good reminder to all of us that what, when we pray and ask God for something, have trust in God and have also this virtue of patience because God, our loving Father, knows what is best for us, what is the best time the best place, the best opportunity to give what we are asking for or praying for. And when sometime, and if you try to see kung paano sinasagot ng Diyos ang ating dasal, we can see that even God surprises us because God will give us even more than what we ask for. Minsan sobra-sobra pa sa ating dinadasal. Kaya magtiwala ka lang sa Diyos and be patient. Ibibigay ng Diyos ang iyong dasal sa tamang panahon. Minsan, sobra-sobra pa sa iyong hinihiling. Remember, naririnig ng Diyos ang ating dasal at alam ng Diyos ang ati- kung ano ang makakabuti para sa atin. Tiwala lang. Maghintay ka lang. Nadidinig ng Diyos ang ating dasal. Kaya tamang sabi ni Jesus sa Matthew 6 verse 8, our Father knows what you need before you ask Him. As we continue our prayer of the Lord's Prayer, ang next line sabi, ng sang, sabi dun sa dasal, Forgive us our sins as we, for, we ourselves forgive those who sin against us. Here we can see that like a child, in his innocence, in his 
humility. He or she asks for mercy and forgiveness for the wrongdoings he or she commits. Gaya ng isang bata, sa kanyang pagpapakumbaba, humingi siya ng tawad sa Diyos sa kanyang pagkakasala. And promises that he will also follow his Father in forgiving and showing mercy to those who wrong us. As Pope Francis reminds us, be merciful just as your Father is merciful. And in our responsorial psalm today, it says, Lord, you are merciful and gracious. In the end of the Lord's Prayer, the Our Father, the Amanamin, a child in his fragility, sa kanyang kahinaan, as his father to protect him and be always at his side. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Here a child finds security in the hands of his or her father. Gay ng sang bata, panatag ang kanyang buhay dahil alam niya kasama niya ang kanyang magulang. That is why in the end of the Lord's Prayer, we surrender ourselves to God, to God's protection and care, to lead us always into His loving care. In this time of pandemic, sa lahat ng ating mga pinagdadaanan ngayon, this should, be, this should always be our disposition and attitude when we pray the Lord's Prayer. When we pray the Lord's Prayer reflectively, especially in this month of the Rosary, lagi nating dinadasal sa umpisa ng Rosario, ang ama namin, our Father. When we pray the Lord's Prayer reflectively, we can see that this is a very beautiful prayer. A short prayer, pero napaka-meaningful. It shows us our intimate conversation and relationship to God, our Father. It shows us that we trust God who knows what is best for us and who He will always give us what is best for us. That our Father will always be there to forgive us, to give us security and protection. He's always a Father who is full of mercy and compassion. A Father full of love and care for us. As we continue our life journey sa pagpapatuloy ng ating buhay dito sa mundo, let us always have a childlike attitude in our heart. Childlike attitude to God in our prayer. Like the disciple who asked Jesus, Lord, teach us how to pray. Not just what to pray or what to ask in prayer. But let us pray with the heart of a child that has a full trust, faith, and love to God who always there watching us, His children. To end, may isang kanta, kinanta ng Himig Iswita, ang title ng kanta, Huwag Kang Mangamba. A very beautiful period that consoles us, reminding us that we have our Father who is always there for us. Sabi ng lyrics ng kanta, Huwag kang mangamba, di ka nag-iisa. Sasamahan kita, saan ka man magpunta. Ikaw ay mahalaga sa aking mga mata. Minamahal kita, minamahal kita. Tinatawag kita sa iyong pangalan. Ikaw ay akin magpakailanman. Ako ang Panginoon mo at Diyos, tagapagligtas mo at tagatubos. Amen. Those to be commissioned for one year in the Ministry of Reader, please come forward. Seminarian Posilito Torno Seminarian Benjamin Joseph Vallejos Seminarian John Ronald Vargas Seminarian Jinmel Shandy Nari Nas Seminarian Jekyll Polido 
Seminarian Juri Harnais Madrona. Seminarian Francis Rudolph Ibayan. Seminarian Ignacio de Cosena. Seminarian Sandrel Lays Gumangan. Seminarian Sandrek Lay Gumangan. Seminarian Samson Kela. Seminarian Charlie Mansueto Apariso. Seminarian Alejo Piolo Yusi. Seminarian Richard Canapi. Seminarian Mark Paul Peralta. Seminarian Jason Bitonio. Seminarian Kyle David Segovia. Seminarian Mark Joe Delobino. Seminarian Ronel Grasso. Seminarian Christian Jam Atacador. My dear brothers, as readers and bearers of God's Word, you will assist in the mission of proclaiming God's words to others. Accept it yourselves. Meditate it to others constantly so that you may grow deeper in the love of Jesus Christ. Please rise. Brothers and sisters, let us ask God, our Father, to bless the servants of our community. May they be faithful to their work as temporary readers so that they may give glory to our Father in heaven. Lord God, you sent your only Son, the divine word, the word of life, to open to us your heart. Bless our brothers who will commit themselves for one year as readers. Grant them they may grow in wisdom and proclaim faithfully your word to your people. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Take this book of the Holy Scripture and be faithful in handling on the Word of God so that it may grow strong in the hearts of His people. Take this book of the Holy Scripture and be faithful in handing on the Word of God so that it may grow strong in the hearts of His people. Take this book of the Holy Scripture and be faithful in handing on the Word of God so that it may grow strong in the hearts of His people. Take this book of the Holy Scripture and be faithful to the, on handing the Word of God so that it may grow strong in the hearts of His people. Take this book of the Holy Scripture and be faithful in handing on the Word of God so that it may grow in the hearts of the people. Take the Holy Scripture and be faithful in handing on the Word of God 
so that He may grow strong in the hearts of His people. Take this book of the Holy Scripture and be faithful in handing on the Word of God so that it may grow strong in the hearts of His people. My dear brothers and sisters, let us welcome our newly commissioned reader here in our Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word with a round of applause. Let us pray to our Heavenly Father with complete trust as we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church throughout the world may always express a deep trust in the coming of Father's kingdom of love, justice, and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That amidst the difficulties of life, we may go on praying and never give in to temptations. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may have sufficient bread to meet our daily bread and the greatness of heart to forgive our enemies. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and those who experience serious difficulties in life may be helped by their neighbors as they carry their cross. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may see the Lord face to face in His eternal home in paradise. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, we lift up to God our other intentions. And in a special way, we remember Brother Joseph Villarde, one of our Eucharistic ministers here in the Shrine of Jesus who passed away. Heavenly Father, we thank you for listening to our petitions. Help us to trust always in your loving ways and to accept your will in our lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for your praise and glory of his name, who are good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifice instituted by your commands and th through the sacred mysteries, which we celebrate with dutiful service, graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. In heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim, worship together with exaltation. Mere voices we pray join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. the font of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion he took bread giving you thanks broke it gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving a thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the, the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Onesto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray 
that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Bruno, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be couriers to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Jesus taught us how to pray, and He taught us the beautiful prayer, the Lord's Prayer. So like a little child, like children of God, full of trust and faith in our loving Father, we now pray the Lord's Prayer. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace, the love of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to each other the sign of peace. Peace be with peace you. Be with you. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only to say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
the body of Christ. Amen. A spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, Almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament which we have received, so as to be transformed into what we consume through Christ our Lord. Amen. Horatio Imperata, merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand. Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body 
strengthen their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Saint Bruno, pray for us. Saint Arnold Johnson and Joseph Renademets, pray for us. Once again, we congratulate our brothers who received their, the ministry of lectors here in our Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word. Let's give them again a round of applause. <laughs> we continue to pray for their ministry as lectors. Makikita nyo na sila na nagbabasa sa ating Shrine ngayon, sa ating live streaming, either as lectors or commentators here in our Shrine. And not, uh, we don't only pray for their ministry as lectors, but we also pray for their perseverance in their vocation. And I will take this opportunity to thank all our generous benefactors, donors, and friends who are supporting us here in Christ the King Mission Seminary. Sa lahat po ng mga tumutulong sa aming mga seminarista dito sa Christ the King Mission Seminary, taus puso po ang aming pasasalamat sa inyo. Ang aming dasal sa lahat ng inyong mga intensyon, isasama namin sa aming daily prayers at sa aming mga masses. Muli maraming salamat po sa inyong pagsuporta at pagtulong sa amin dito sa seminaryo. At inimbitan ko rin po kayong lahat to join us every 8 o'clock in the evening. This month of October is the month of the Rosary. Samahan niyo po kami sa pagdarasal ng Rosario every 8 p.m. You can watch us or join us in praying the Rosary through our Facebook pages, the Facebook of the Shrine, the Season Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word, our Facebook page, CKMS, Christ the King Mission Seminary Facebook page, and other Facebook pages na naka-live stream ang aming daily rosary. So sabay-sabay po tayong magdasal ng ating, sa ating mahal na ina ng Santo Rosario. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We bow our heads, we pray for God's blessing. Keep your family safe, O Lord, we pray. And grant them the abundance of your mercies, that they may find growth through the teachings and the gifts of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty and loving God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go and share the good news of Jesus, the divine word. Thanks be to God.